Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I posted a video and a bunch of you asked me if I was coming back to YouTube. And well, here I am. I also have been away uh, for a little while. I was in California for about two months. I don't know if you guys know it, but I am um, originally from Los Angeles. So I hadn't been out there in a long time to see my family. So I got the opportunity to go and I ended up staying there like two months. But today's video, I am going to um, show you guys how I cut my own hair. Um, I've been cutting my own hair now probably for about uh, probably five or six years or so. And I started cutting my own hair when um, I, 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 would, I would find um, hairdressers that cut my hair fabulous and I loved them. And then, you know, a year would go by or something and then they wouldn't be at the same salon anymore or they would or they would um, move or you know I just couldn't really keep the same person that I really liked cutting my hair for too long so I was determined to learn how to cut my own hair I'm going to show you guys how I do that step by step I do cut my hair in kind of long long layers that's the way I kind of like my hair and I cut my hair probably every six months or so uh, my hair grows super fast so um, I, I don't really mind when I do cut it. I will cut, you know, a bunch. I'll probably cut four inches. I was so tempted to cut my hair, you know, like up to here. But, um, you know, everybody was like, no, don't do it. So um, I did kind of cut a bunch off this time. But um, it's only hair. It grows back. And my hair grows back really quick. These are the tools that I use to cut my hair. This is a clip and it's called um, Create a Clip. And it it's, you know, kind of opens up like this and it has like um, kind of a comb inside so that it kind of grips your hair pretty good. And I'll show you guys how I do that. And then this is a level right here. If you could see it, it's just a level right there with a little ball in the middle. And then while you're cutting your hair, you want to make sure that ball stays in the middle uh, just to make sure you get an even cut. So this is um, the main tool that I use. I'm going to leave a link in the description box where you can purchase it. And it also comes with this tool here, which is used for pretty much like cutting your bangs or side bangs. And then um, also I think it's to cut like shorter hair as well. I don't use this tool as much. I do just use it kind of to trim my bangs a little bit or my long bangs right here. But they do come together and this runs probably around 30 bucks for the two of them. And for me, it's totally well worth it because um, like I said, I've been cutting my own hair for about six years using the same tool and um, it saves me hundreds of dollars because that's another thing that I used to get charged a lot of money to cut my hair because it is super thick and it's long and sometimes hairdressers would see my hair and go, oh boy, you got some really thick long hair. And then immediately uh, the price would jack up because my hair is long and thick and I know it takes them longer to cut my hair. I think if you're going to um, uh, cut your own hair, you should probably invest in a set of good scissors. These are the scissors that I use right here. I got them at Sally's and they run probably around 15 bucks, maybe 20 bucks, which is not bad. They're, they're kind of got the littler sheer on them. These are another set of scissors here and these I think I got like at Walgreens or, or some a drugstore like that and these ran about $10 but I uh, prefer the shorter shear better than the long shear. They just seem to snip my hair a little bit better. That's just my preference. Um, I don't know, some people prefer the longer shear. So if you guys want to see how I cut my own hair, just keep watching. Thanks guys. The directions kind of tell you to cut your hair with on clean, dry hair. I kind of do the opposite. I like to cut my hair first and then I like to shampoo it and then blow dry it out and stuff. But um, whatever way works for you, it doesn't matter. I, I, you, you cut your hair dry, you don't do it wet. Some people, I have cut other people's hair wet so it can be done wet, but I prefer cutting my hair when it's dry. And then this is like five days already um, out. So once I cut it, then I do wash it and um, style it and stuff. Um, you can do, you can cut your hair using that tool with curly hair. You don't even have to 
straighten it. I'm going to straighten my hair. I'm going to use a straightening iron on my hair only because um, when I cut my hair, I want to make sure I cut it evenly. And sometimes if it's got wave in it or curl to it, the layers kind of come out a little bit uneven. So I am going to use a straightening iron and make sure that my hair is nice and straight so when I do cut it, um, my layers are pretty even. So now that I've taken out most of the wave uh, in my hair, you don't have to um, use a flat iron to use this tool. I just feel more comfortable doing it that way. I just feel like my uh, layers come out a little bit more even when I do straighten my hair a little bit. And um, of course I'm getting ready to use my tool and normally um, you can use it either this way, which this is normally how I use it with the uh, curve kind of going up and that just kind of gives your hair more of a uh, triangle shape in the back, you know, where you have kind of that point in the back. And, uh, and But today I'm going to be using it with the kind of round uh, part at the bottom and that just kind of gives your hair more of a, I guess, more of a rounded kind of look. I've never used it this way. I always typically use it this way that I, so that I have that triangle kind of shape in the bottom of my hair, but this time I'm going to try it this way. And then it come, it has the level. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can get up close. There's a level right there and there's a little ball in there. You can probably see it. And you want to make sure that when you're using this tool that that ball stays right in the center. That just uh, tells you that you're getting an even cut. So I'm going to start now with the uh, first layer. So you start off by brushing all your hair forward, making sure that you get all the knots and tangles out. Then taking the clip, and once again I'm going to be using it with the curved side down, you're going to uh, place all your hair in the clip and then just lock it on the side. There's a little lock there on the side. And then I like to just sort of spread my hair out from end to end. Then make sure also that you have that level facing your face so that you can see it as you're pulling the clip down. So get it down to where you um, feel that you're comfortable with it. Yet yeah, there I am just showing you guys that you want to make sure that that level is um, right in the middle or that little bubble is right in the middle. And then you're just going to take it down to where you want to cut it. And then I like to cut my hair. You start cutting, of course, and then you want to cut your hair. Um, you can do it different ways. I like to do it, um, as you can see, kind of going up with the scissors, sort of just nipping it. But you can go across. Like right there, I'm going across only because I'm trying to get some of that long hair out. It just made it a little bit easier to go ahead and clip it. And then I'm just, um, you know, doing it uh, with the scissors kind of facing up. And then once you've clipped it all, you're just going to let the clip out. And uh, voila, you're going to have lots of long layers. At this point, you can stop and um, you will still have some nice long layers because it does, just doing that one cut like I did, does give you um, long layers. Um, as you can see, there was still kind of a point or a V shape in the back and I really didn't want the V shape this time around with my haircut. So I'm just going to take the clip now and put it in front, put all my hair forward in front and then taking that curve um, at the bottom, I'm going to take it all the way down to where you see that excessive kind of straggly hair there at the bottom and then I am just going to cut that off just so that I don't have that um, V too much in the back. At this point, you can pretty much stop cutting and you'll have a nice haircut with lots of nice long layers, but I like to take it a step further. And so I am going to create some more layers. So I take my fingers and just sort of part my hair right above my ears. And then again, you're just going to push all your hair forward or brush all your hair forward, stick the clip in once again, making sure that that level is nice and even, pulling my hair from end to end and then taking it down um, to where I think I want it cut. And then I think it was about an inch or an inch and a half. And then again, just sort of nipping it, um, going with your scissors kind of facing up. <music> So 
So now taking it a step further, I am going to create another layer and by taking my fingers once again from temple to temple all the way back and once again just brushing my hair all forward, making sure all those knots and tangles are taken out and then again I am going to just place the clip with the curve at the bottom, taking it down again, uh, making sure that level is nice and even, and then just um, taking that clip down to about an inch. like the bangs or the long side bangs were a little bit too blunt cut so here I am just going to be using the um, straight uh, create a clip tool just to sort of um, wisp the bangs a little bit sort of feather them and I do that by just sort of nipping them um, from side to side not really taking any length off of them So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I love reading your comments so leave a comment below if you'd like and until I see you in my next video you guys take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.